So originally, let's put everything on the web. Uh, and so the couple of strategies to deal with that problem. One is one that we champion, which is called personalization. Mm -hmm. Meaning, instead of everything about what I do or who I am, I can now also tailor all that, whether it's the content or product, to, towards you. You can set your own likes and dislikes and preferences. I can then dynamically reorient what I offer to you. So it's generation one is about all about me, me being the company. This next generation, call it 1.5, if you will, tries to do a better job with the championing of championing that is to say, yeah, so then I can not just about me, I can do something about you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, so that's one strategy. The other strategy was the Google strategy, which is to say, give me a few keywords and I'll find those things for you, okay, and bring them out. Of course, that's become really, really useful and successful, but it has its drawbacks also. It's, it's not very precise. So yes. you always get pages and pages of things back. So it's, it's making it better, but not really totally solving the problem per se. The next generation, which is what we're talking about now, whether you're talking about consumer social media or enterprise social networking, like what we're talking about, sort of turn the whole table around. Instead of about the company or about a company, but also about you, the one-to-one -one personalization. Here we're talking about truly the system by the users. Mm -hmm. So it's a truly people system. It's truly people-centric even though that's a concept we've been talking about forever. But I think the key enabler here is if you can figure out a way for people to be willing to participate, to be engaged, and to share, you can really leverage this network effect, the so-called N-squared effect. You have N participants. It becomes a geometric you know, productivity yes. out of that whether it's about problem solving or exception handling or idea generation, innovation, all the things that any traditional business process does not capture, mm -hmm. you now have a way of trying to harness that, both inside your company, outside your company, right? And generally speaking, you can refer that as to, to that as crowdsourcing, right, yeah. essentially. So now back to your original question, which is then how do we then deal with this information overload? Because whether you are in the gen, gen one and we try to use search or personalization to address that. Here, you also have the potential of having too many followings, right? So even though in the social environment you are following everybody, you face this issue also. About. So number one, the way that you deal with that is that Instead of being spent, as in the generation one, you, you tend to all get, always get spent by email and so on. Mm -hmm. One sort of very natural gating factor is that you only subscribe to things you are interested in or involved with or have some knowledge about. So in all the social tools, we have this concept called stream or feed. It's kind of like a big river that runs through that. But of course, when too much stuff is running through that, it becomes a torrent. 